Hi guys, today's video is going to be a collective beauty haul. This is stuff that I've picked up probably for the past two, three, four weeks. Um, I just kind of, I've just realised that I've got like random bits. I just bought a tripod for holiday. This is like the most compact tripod of all time. Um, I'll talk about it in my kind of travel videos, but just realised that I've opened it and kind of left it all around. Um, yeah, I kept buying little bits and pieces and it wasn't really enough for a haul, so I thought I would do a collective haul. Haven't really dug into very much of this yet and so some of the stuff I've been waiting to use for a couple of weeks um but let's just kind of dive in there's no particular order I bought this from Primark I have mentioned this before but I as a teenager had really bad acne on my chest my arms my back not so much my face but the rest of me and so I'm very conscious of my like the condition of my skin in those areas um and my back is the one area that I never feel like I can get it totally smooth I never feel like it's getting kind of enough um, exfoliation. Occasionally I'll get Lee, my husband, to do um, like cotton pads and glycolic acid, the same as I do everywhere else that I can kind of reach. Uh, but apart from that, and that's not often, I can't really, even like back brushes and things I haven't really found have been that great. So I bought one of these. I've seen them before, I've never used one. Um, so it's like a little, it's like a, a panel thing. Like I'm, I'm talking to you like you've never seen one of these before. But like a panel thing, so you kind of can like do that. And I am extra excited about using this because I've had this for at least two weeks, maybe three at this point, and it's just been sitting there waiting to be used, but I didn't want to show you it once it had been. So this, this was £2 from Primark. What else did I get from Primark? Oh, I got a lip gloss. I did try this on. I'm kind of disappointed. I got two other things from Primark, in fact. One is this Prep and Perfect PS Daily Smoothing Tonic. Um, this was £3. It's got AHA and aloe vera, a 3.5% glycolic acid. So this is basically going to be like a morning pre-makeup um, toner. Instead of using Pixie Glow Tonic or the ordinary one, I'm going to use this. I've used this once or twice um, and I really wanted to kind of save it until I'd shown you it. And then I thought, we'll kind of do from now. I'll use this every single day and we'll see how it goes. I just, there's something about it that makes it appealing to me and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the colour because everything else is orangey. I don't know. Something about it is really appealing. I mean, it's like the frosted bottle, but it kind of makes me believe this is going to do something. The packaging on this is, am I alone? Am I alone in finding this packaging particularly appealing? And just feeling like whatever it says it's going to do, it's going to do. I don't know. There's probably some psychology there. Uh, and then I got this high gloss, lightweight, lightweight, ultra shine lip gloss in candy. Um, and I bought this because when I was talking about lip glosses and not being able to find like really easy to wear, like I'm wearing the Dior Lip Maximizer now, which is just my favourite favourite. It's like a clear, slightly translucent colour. Um, people told me that I needed to try Primark, so I couldn't find one that was like a clear or slightly translucent. So I got this thinking, well, I mean, you know, it's a pinky kind of colour, but it really has got a frost to it. It's not ideal, I don't know if you can see, but when I wear it, when I just put it on when I first bought it, when I put it on I just thought, mm, there's kind of a 90s frost to this, I'm not sure. Over a lipstick, it might be better. First impressions are not favourable. So they're the things that I got from Primark. Um, something else I got, I think, I'm just gonna try to put this in some kind of order. I have some things from Boots. Is this everything? I think that it is. Um, I got this around New Year's. I showed you that I bought this when I did um, one of my sales hauls. This is the number seven clearing skin paste. I was really excited to see these new masks from number seven. I've never seen them before. They're all like some kind of paste. Um, and so I bought this one at the time because my skin was flaring up. It really didn't do anything for me. So it's supposed to be kind of for um, breakouts. I used it, didn't really help. My daughter who suffers with acne really quite badly, it didn't help her at all either. The thing is as well, it says to use this before bed. Apply a thin layer of product to clean skin, avoiding blah, 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 blah. Um, wear overnight. And it is horrible. Like you first put it on and it's nothing, no big deal. It's just like a... I don't know, just like a gel type product, kind of thick for a gel, bit pinky. And then as it dries, it looks this kind of brick colour and starts flaking off. I can't imagine wearing it overnight. Um, I wore it like all day, which is basically the same thing. My daughter wore it overnight. It's just grim, grim. Not not cool in texture and not really effective. Um, I bought a couple of things for travel that I knew that I needed to stock back up on. And that's one of my favourite, well another one rather of my favourite lip balms which is this Burt's Bees. I just like the mint one, it's my favourite favourite. I just wanted to have a new one. I've got them all over the house. I've just used one up and I thought this will go in my travel bag. 
and I know I've got a brand new one to travel with. Um, something else that I really only buy once a year is this. This is the Dry Eye Mist, or the Dry and Irritated Eyes Mist from Boots. Um, I buy it whenever we go away, and then uh, I kind of use it here and there. Uh, I, I don't love eye drops, and with these, now I have read something about eye mists, which we'll talk about in a second. With these, I find that they are so much easier to use on a clean face, so in the, well I say clean, but sometimes I'll use them in the morning before I've even gotten out of bed and that's technically not a clean face, is it? Um, but on a clean face, or you know, at least not with makeup on, I will spritz this, this over my eyes and it just wakes me up. So either on the plane, which I particularly love, when I first wake up in the morning, when I'm traveling and you wake up and you're just like, ugh, or just on a regular day. I just really, really like this stuff and I don't get along with regular eye drops at all. I find it difficult and I can touch my eyes, I just can't put liquid into them. I don't know what it is. Um, now what I've read about eye mists is that they kind of create a problem in that things that are on your eye will be drawn into your eye along with the mist. So if you don't have clean eyes, I don't know, it's something to note and it's the reason I wouldn't put this on over makeup. Um, but I really, really like these and they are something that I would prefer not to travel without because I find them to be really really refreshing. Uh, I got this which is a coconut oil deep conditioning protein pack. I just kind of got it on a whim. I don't use these very often. Um, this was just kind of, I don't know if it was near the till or what, I just kind of walking by and thought I'll try that. I feel like I've probably tried it before. I don't know and now I have it and like this is not a million miles away from using the single use sachet masks and yet here we are. I bought this. We're not perfect. Um, and the last thing that I bought from Boots is the Ingredients Vitamin C Serum. Loads of you told me that I needed to try the ingredients range. Um, not necessarily because you tried it and loved it yet, but because it was brand new and you wanted to hear about it. Now, they have loads of different things, glycolic stuff, hyaluronic acid stuff, I think a hemp line, and then the Vitamin C. I am loving the Pixie Vitamin C at the moment. I'm gonna use that up before I open this one because they have a shelf life uh, and they kind of, the effect, Efficacy, I always really struggle with that word. The efficacy um, really reduces after time. So I'm gonna try and use that one up first of all and then I will work on this one. Uh, but it's an interesting idea. And I like the idea that it was five or six pounds, I think. Um, I'm gonna look into the ingredients, see kind of how it compares. Uh, but I'm obsessed with vitamin C for brightening up my skin. It really truly has made a difference since I started using it. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, and I did get one more thing. The Child's Farm Moisturiser, I got this for Ella because she wanted new body lotion and Emma from It's M channel said this is amazing. So we'll see. Um, and she got the grapefruit and tea tree because I think the other one was an unscented one and there was one that we decided probably smelled like baby cream and she didn't want that one. That's the one I would have got, but she wanted this one. Um, we went to, oh, we went to TK Maxx, like literally just today. There will be a shot with me coming soon. Um, and I bought this ring. What do you think? What do you think? A little bit chaptastic, perhaps. I don't know. It still has that kind of stigma for me from being a kid that the big chunky jewellery is like not for me. But at the same time, this is back in fashion. And I love the love ring. I love it so much. I kind of wish that it was silver because that is more my bag. But I think it's really cute. I love it. It doesn't really go with anything but cute anyway. Um, so I got that from TK Maxx. Uh, and I got this, which I'd never seen anything like this before. Um, the brand is called Iku. Iku Infusions, hair fresh ups, and they had like an anti-frizz one which I was tempted to buy. I mean, I get really bad frizz kind of here. Um, but this is a dry shampoo sheet. So let's open this and see what it says. Absorbs excess oil from the roots to tip, cleanses and refreshes oil, directions, swipe with dry shampoo sheet from the roots to the hair, down to the ends. Okay. Ah, oh, again, single use stuff. I didn't think this through. Um, Okay, so I'm guessing, we'll, we'll talk about this. I'm gonna save these purely for like travel when I feel like it's not gonna be that easy to um, use dry shampoo uh, or to kind of travel with it. But I'm gonna take this, one of these on the plane with me and we'll see how this goes. I'll show you. I usually do some kind of um, in-flight something and put it on Instagram. Also, in case you are interested, there will be some travel vlogs, but all of my vlogs are gonna go onto my second channel now. They used to go there. I kind of flip-flopped over the years and they're going back on there. It's called Diary of a Spenderholic. It will be vlogs, it will be some luxury stuff, it will be unboxings of things, it will be outfits of the week, that kind of thing are gonna go over there. Because I worked out 
all the content that I want to put on this channel this year and stuff just doesn't fit in. I wanted to do monthly outfits of the week and there's so much beauty content that I want to put on here that it just doesn't fit in for three week, three videos a week. So yeah, if you're interested, that's going to be there. Um, something else that I bought around Boxing Day, New Year's. I never, ever, ever buy Lush anything anymore and I especially don't buy um, Lush bath bombs because they are incredibly overpriced. But everyone was buying Lush my bath bomb. I was just like... It was, Ella, Ella was buying one, Milo was buying one, and I was like, I want one for myself. So I bought the Butterball, and I think I'm going to save this, I'm saying this now, and immediately want to go and use it tonight, but I'm having a smear tomorrow. I'm having my coil replaced, and so I have to have swabs, if you've ever done this before. Would you be interested in, like, a coil diary? Let me know, because by the time you see this, it will be too late, but hopefully I've already done it anyway. So let me know if you would be interested in seeing it. Um, I have to have the swabs to make sure everything's cool. Um, if they can do me a smear at the same time, that would be ideal. And then I've got to go back to have the coil changed. So I'm feeling like I should just be like clean and not not have any like extra oils and things on me. I don't know. Does anybody think of that when they're having things like this done? Like you always have to take something, freshen yourself up just before. I feel like it's a professional courtesy. I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna save that for the night before we go. Um, usually we will travel down to the airport, um, stay in a hotel, and then the next morning we travel. And so usually I will have my bath, wash my hair, do all my stuff, and um, go down in really, really comfy clothes. And then we basically get there and go to bed. Uh, and especially this time, because we're going without the children, we're going after they've gone to bed, so we feel less guilty. I don't know, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna feel terrible the whole time we're away. Um, and so I might treat myself to my bath bomb then. Or maybe I'll save it for the hotel. Who knows? These are just my inner thoughts. Um, and I think the last thing that I want to show you is, and I already feel, well, I definitely am missing something because there were five things. So I went to Topshop with Ella over the sales period. And when I was, really, where is the other thing? I don't even know what the other thing was. We'll never know. When I was waiting for her to pay for something, I saw right back to the tip, right next to the till, right by the till, right next to the till, um, there was five for ten pounds on makeup. And I haven't tried Topshop makeup basically since they reformulated it because it's so expensive and I'm just like, ah. So I haven't tried it. I thought I would try it given the price. So I did have five things. I've only got four things in front of me. I don't know what happened to the other thing, but like I say, these things have been just like hanging around. Um, so this is Chameleon Highlighter. Uh, Mother of Pearl is the colour. And looking at it, it's like got one of those like it's like a flash, like a, it's like a golden pink, but it also looks super shimmery. I feel like I would probably use this as more of an eyeshadow. Let's see. Oh yeah. That is not something that I think I'm going to put on my face, that, that one there. It's got a lot of sparkle to it. Really pretty though. I would definitely use it on my eyes. Um, I got a matte powdered blush in Heads Up which is very pretty, a nice kind of corally pink. This is so my spring, summer kind of colour. Love. Let's watch it, let's watch it. Okay, that's what it looks like. I think that's going to be a really nice one to wear. Also, I shouldn't have put it on that finger. I've just done a blood test today. You may have already seen on Instagram. It's just this, it's just a nice kind of very natural colour. I think that's going to be really good for me because I'm very heavy handed and that's not a pow in your face pigmented colour um or product yeah i've done a blood test today for this company it's a sponsored thing so just FYI, FYI. um full disclosure i did a sponsored thing for this this company i'm gonna try and remember what it's called now i think it's called let's get checked and um the idea is that you can do at home blood <laughs> camera run out of uh, or rather memory card run out of space so as i was saying um you can do at home blood tests for multiple things even STDs and stuff. Things that potentially you might not want to go to a doctor for. You should. Everybody should. Um, things that potentially you could definitely get checked for free for. However, if it is more convenient or um, if you feel like you can't go, that is quite a good service to be available. Um, so yeah, I've just done my thing today and I had to put my finger and like bleed into this thing. So I'm waiting to hear my results from my hormone test and I'm quite excited about it. But I forgot about it. I used it to swatch and it's a little bit tender still. Um, right, lipsticks. Last things. I bought some lipsticks. This one is called Macaroon and this is a cream lipstick. Now, this reminded me a lot of one called Brighton Rock that I used to love from 
Topshop. See, this is the difference between a YouTuber and a blogger. Once upon a time, I would haul things and I could not swatch them. I couldn't do it because I needed that. Look at this. Just appreciate for this moment, this perfect brand new lipstick. Never before swatched. There is something beautiful about that. Um, and I couldn't do it. And now, now I don't really do the, the blog thing. Occasionally, I'm trying, but honestly, I've lost my love for it. Um, and this feels more like instant. I can talk about it, let's talk about it, let's get into the products. Um, it is, it's got a real bright and rock feel to it. So that was the cream one, and then I got another one, which is all about me, and this is a matte, a more of kind of a magenta, deeper pink love. This is very interesting in color. That, I swear, I, these are the reasons that I don't wanna lose things, because I feel like I could pull out Bright and Rock now and tell you whether or not, I've probably got pictures though on the blog we could do. And that reminds me um, a lot of one I have from MAC. I can't remember the color off the top of my head, but pretty. And yeah, I got them for a really good deal. So when I find the other thing, I really don't remember what it was. It might have been a powder, um, like an actual face powder, but I can't remember. Um, but if there's anything specific you would like to see me review from Topshop, the things that I've got once I've started using them a little bit more, I may go back and try some more. It's just, it is quite pricey for what it is for me to kind of go and pick up a lot of things to do a brand overview all at once. Uh, so now I have a few things, a base of things. I could pick up a couple of full price things and I feel like I'll get a feel for the brand. Um, so let me know if you'd be interested in that. And that is everything in this collective haul. I have another haul coming up for you, I think next week, and it is going to be a Yes Style haul. Um, I've never shopped from there before. A couple of people have recommended it. They gave me a coupon code to spend there, and so I did, and I'm gonna show you what I bought. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Um, we do lots of content, much like this. We do lots of reviews, lots of, lots, often, I can't speak, Lots of budget beauty focused stuff, and then every single Sunday we do a shop with me, which is very exciting. Um, and next week I'm going to New York, which is even more exciting, and there's going to be lots of travel stuff and lots of New York content as well. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, like I told you five minutes ago, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.